Well, coming from the Heavy Metal Hall of Fame, I am here with a founding member of one of my favorite power metal bands, Armoranthi, now with Syra, Jake E. What's up? Uh, hey, nice to have me. Uh, yeah, it's great. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of noise, uh, but I'm happy to be here. Oh, I bet. I mean, this is a time where we celebrate the metal artists that really just open the doors for everybody, not just for artists, but for fans themselves. Absolutely, and there's a lot of my childhood heroes here as well, so that uh, it's really nice to be around so many, you know, heroes of mine that you grew up with, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, who would you say you're look, really looking forward to seeing from the class that's uh, going in today? It's always cool, obviously, to see like Sebastian Bach, for example. I've never met oh, him. Oh, he's a he's a character. He's a character. Um, he's been behaving re really weird lately with uh, Eric, you know, my Swedish fellow friend. Oh, yeah. uh, but I guess that that uh, just comes down with envy. I guess I don't oh, know. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, there, there, there's so many people here. So yeah, it's and it, th this is also like a class party. You know, like you you meet so many other bands uh, yeah. that are here as guests. And you're just like, you know, meeting up and, you know, talk about old memories and, and uh, you know, creating new contacts. So that's fantastic. Yeah, not just making great new contacts, but making new friends at the same time. Absolutely. And I hope to be one of them. Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> so uh, what's going on with uh, Syro? What are you guys up to right now? Uh, we just released a new, brand new album uh, called The Vertigo Trigger. We released it in like uh, October, I think. Uh, went really, really well. Now we're planning tours, uh, coming back to um, the States next uh, this year, 2020. It's already next year. I'm, yeah. already, I, I'm, I'm still in like 2023 in my head. But... Uh, everybody is right now. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, so we're planning... My mom almost signed a check that said 20, 2023. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we don't use checks anymore where I'm from. But uh, no, we're planning a world tour. Uh, so 2024 is going to be completely full. All right. And what's the album called again? What? What's the album called again? Uh, I'm sorry, your album. What's it called again? Yeah, yeah, The Vertigo Trigger. The Vertigo Trigger. I'm going to listen to it on Spotify. I haven't been, had a chance to see it. They never got a notification to me. So. No, dude, you should totally listen to it. It's a fantastic album. I'm really proud of it. And I am usually not the guy that is self-promoting myself with my own stuff. Sure. But this is one of the... I mean, like, I've done 40 records in my career, but this album is something that is really close to my heart. And you always have to have that one album that will always be cherished. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, and what a career you've had. I mean, obviously, I've known you mainly through Armor Anthony. I remember seeing the, the Nexus video. I was just looking through music videos on YouTube. I came across that video. I was in love with uh, Elise Ride. I'm still in love with her. <laughs> uh, the original uh, Screamer. And, of course, you You guys had a great combination in, yeah. with that group. We had. We had. We had. We had been. Unfortunately, we grew apart. And... Um, went different directions, but I wish them all the best in whatever sure. they are pursuing nowadays. Every now and then, uh, the founding member has got to spread his wings and fly. And I feel like you made the right choice with uh, Syra. Absolutely. I'm, I'm extremely happy with Syra and what, what, what that turned out to be. So, yes, absolutely. Yeah, my friend Tyler, who I introduced Armor Anthony to, he's going to be so jealous that I got to hang out with you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say hi for me. Oh, I will. Uh, a couple more questions. When it comes to metal music, uh, what would you say was the band that turned you on to metal? Uh, Halloween. Absolutely. Oh, I've, I've said, Halloween. I've, nice. said this, I've said this in countless interviews, uh, but when, when I was... I think I was four years old when my uncles played uh, The Keeper of the Seven Keys, uh, part two for me for, for the first time. I got stuck. And since then, yeah, that, that, that just brought me into the metal world. And the funny thing is that I made sure that when I left Amaranth, my last show was to open up for Halloween in Japan. So, oh. so, so I was with, like, for me, that was like starting a chapter and ending a chapter. Like, like the, the, the last time I went off stage, uh -huh. Halloween went on stage, and that was the last <laughs> thing that I did. Oh, and I, yeah. I, I did like that could be a movie thing, right? Yeah, it is. A yeah, movie and you also you also have these guys over here. So, for, yeah, for, 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 for example, Joe came here from Hammerfall. So and that's awesome. He helped me a lot in my career. So he's been like a mentor for me, um, keeping myself, oh, like pushing myself forward from when I was like 17, 18 years old. So I have a lot to think, uh, these guys to think about my career as well. For me, when it comes to rock and metal, it would be Van Halen. Van Halen is fantastic. Did you know, by the way, you know Sabaton, right? Yeah, yeah. he does. All the members in Sabaton 
pass Van Halen tattoo. That, that I did not yeah, know. Yeah, so next time you interview them, uh, you, should, you should ask them from me, uh, saying that Jake told, told me that uh, I should look at your Van Halen tattoos. I will definitely be sure to do that. Uh, last question for you. Um, just asking about Armoranthi really quick. Of all the songs that you did with them, with that, what would you say was your favorite song to perform? Amaranthi. That is a really good song. I hope to use that as one of my wedding songs whenever I get yeah. married. I, that, that was one of the songs that I wrote completely on my own. And it took me probably like three hours. And then obviously Elias uh, Holmquist, uh, or um, he came in and did all the arrangement behind with like the keyboards and, and strings and whatever. Uh, but that song grew to become like the biggest song of the band in the, the band's career. Yeah. And it was always fantastic to play that song live because you could always just drop the mic and let the audience sing. They, they could sing the whole song themselves. That was fantastic. Yeah. For me, it's either The Nexus or Invincible. Invincible is also a really good song. Fun, fa fun fact, you know that scene where Olaf drops out of the hotel and that woman in the towel yeah. like, gives him like a glass of wine? That's actually a friend of mine named Pal. I know, he's a friend of mine too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I missed her wedding unfortunately, but she forgave me. But so. one thing, the coolest thing in that scene that, I, that me and Patrick directed, because me and Patrick has always directed all the videos yeah. while, I was in the, while I was in the band, was that there's a scene where Olaf is going out from the, the house and the, the, the camera is panning through the wall just like it would be, you know, like a cheap uh, sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, that looks so, uh, you know, staged. And, and I'm really proud with that specific shot. <laughs> you, well, that's you, good you, to know, you, man. You, do you know what I mean? Which, which, which shot I mean? It's just right after the, the whole incident with the wine glass. I think I know. I'll have to watch it again. But watch, I think it, I know what you're watch it again. It, it looks like an episode of Dallas all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice little uh, name drop right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jakey, I want, uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and go enjoy yourself, but I can't wait to see what Syra come, uh, has in store for 2024, especially when coming here. So you're coming to Anaheim, right? Absolutely. I'll, yeah, I'll be here for a couple of days. I would really fucking appreciate that. It's so great to finally meet you. Yeah. I'm always a fan of your music. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No problem.